What is happening, world? My name is Jeff Redson. Welcome to Shed Talk. Yo, what an opening day yesterday was at San Nita. Fucking murdered it. Yeah, people are complaining that the favorite, speed favoring, whatever. Great to see opening day, cash and tickets, as you saw on the Twitter feed. Damn. That knows. Worst part. Daddy's Ruby. That's just getting that salt in that wound. Thank you, Daga. Boom, bap, always gets me in the mood. But, what's happening, y'all? Hell, that was a... Freaking awesome day yesterday. I hit quite a few fours, fives, threes, doubles, wins. Came second in the damn tourney I needed to win. Would have gotten a seat, so that was kind of bummer. That 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 was a hard one to swallow yesterday. But let's get down to business. With them racing yesterday, they ain't racing until Friday. Uh, I think they're really only going to do it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got to check it out, make sure they are doing some Thursdays, but I highly doubt it because they're splitting that money with up north. But the Eddie Logan Stakes race, I believe it's race seven, going a mile on that turf. Man, that lawn looked nice yesterday. Whew. Can't wait for it. Horse that I love in that race, the number five horse, Twirling Point. Uh, Jonathan Thomas shipping out west, Augustin Stables, and my boy uh, Kazushi Kimura is up on this one. I'm stoked because personally I think he is definitely an upgrade. Best jock that this horse has had has been Javi, and that was the best ride he's gotten. That's the ride I hope he gets. And the best part was, was that ride happened in front of Kazushi, while he was on the favorite when this horse broke its maiden. So, fingers crossed, we get that same trip. But no, this horse is what? Three starts, a win, a second, and first time came 10th. Uh, that first time was the 2nd of September at Kentucky Downs. Going 7, I think it was. I got to double check that, but I think it was going 7. Um, broke from the, from the two hole, broke a little slow. Flo was kind of just sitting on the horse for two, three strides. Horse did not look comfortable at all. Sorry, it's like bad timing because all the kids are getting out. So I'm trying to do this before my daughter gets home. Uh, but Kazushi or uh, Flo never looked comfortable. Horse never looked comfortable. So on what about the... Got probably like three panels left on that turn. He was teaching the horse in that upper stretch. Got a couple taps into him, tried to teach him a little bit. It was awesome because in that next run came on the 10th of, the 8th actually, of October up at Woodbine, like I said in the opening. The horse in that, you have to watch the replay. That horse looked absolutely freaking phenomenal. Um, what he broke from? Oh, post five, my favorite. Um, what he's breaking from the day. Uh, under Javi, like I said, broke like a rocket. Looked awesome. He literally learned, you could tell from those first like three, four jumps, he learned a ton from that first race. So, shout out to Flo. Teaching the horse how to be a professional. Uh, yeah, in that first race, he was bet down to the favoritism. Yes, three to one, but it's Kentucky Downs. I want to say there was like 12 or 13 horses in that race, if I remember right. Um, so, yeah, when he came back at Woodbine, this was on the poly, which breeding screams poly, but also turf. Um, that first quarter. He had a horse on his flank. Then they got to the back stretch. He takes a nice breather. Uh, sets down. He had the four to five favorite on his flank. So he set some good opening fractions right there. Caught his breath. 
Then you see in this replay the horse on his flank. It was what third three wide horse comes around, just barely passes that horse, and that horse was like, "Nope, you ain't passing me." Then finally, Javi gave him a tap on the right side, and then I want to say he gave him a couple more taps um, on the left, which me personally, I love when somebody has a good left hand. That is one of my keys to any jockey that I like, is they have a strong left hand. Uh, horses respond to the left-handedness very well. Usually that gets them going, gets them into a new gear, or finds a little something out of them when they're on freaking fumes in the stretch. So, tip from uh, my toolbox. Love me a jock with a good left hand. But, horse slightly past him. Horse dips into that fourth gear. And just gives him his head. In my world, when I say give him his head, he let the horse just run. And that horse did it all on his own. Opened up, I want to say it was like a length, length and a half, something like that. Um, and he cleared the rival, so it was awesome. Maiden breaker, he went off at what third choice, seven to two. So still took some money, but love it when horses are bet first time, come back seven to two with a gift on this horse. Um, and why I liked that race was because Kazushi was on that four to five favorite. So that was the biggest thing is he literally saw how this horse was run. So I'm stoked for him to go today because that December 1st race at Turfway broke from post two, didn't break well. Well, he broke well, just a step slow. Uh, did not, I think it says he was bumped in the lines, if I remember right. Uh, but broke slow. Tyler's my dude. I really like him. Tyler Connor, I think is his name. Yeah. 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 Tyler Connor. Um, he didn't get into the horse. The one slotted goes to the lead. He chills off the flank. Um, Settled in for a nice second stocking position type, if you look at the replay. Um, thing I didn't like was in the middle of the turn, Tyler kind of got antsy. Horse was coming on his outside, and he went with that horse. So they were going. Tyler gave him a right hand. Then I think he gave him a left, or maybe two lefts. Horse responded, but there was just nothing left in the tank. Still what came in second, winner draws off. But another reason reason uh, why I love this horse in this race is his running style fits that mile on the Santa Anita lawn. Uh, if he runs back to that woodbine style and way of running, good night. This horse is just going to sit second, third, Give a tap on the left and good night. So I'm super stoked to see his style on this, especially after watching yesterday how those horses ran. Um, the two horse that was bet down to like three to five, similar running style, I feel. So that's the best way I could put it is what I see, how I see. So I'm getting more bets on. Yeah. Um, that's the style I'm hoping that that horse runs with tomorrow. Second, love twirling candies on the sand needle lawn. Um, I haven't kept any numbers. I just have always noticed that they do really well. That mile, mile and the 16th, down the hill. And with that firm footing. So, twirling candy on the lawn, going two turns, hell yeah. But I absolutely love, again, like I said earlier, about my man, Kazushi Kamara, coming back down from the great north down to Southern California to ride this winter. I'm stoked. I loved his season last year. He did really well. I'm trying to remember where he landed in the standings, but he did really well. 
but guess what? He's coming off another fucking title win up at Woodbine, so he is riding hot. Uh, I don't think he had any winners, but he did have a couple, I want to say seconds or thirds yesterday. Even if you just saw, watched him ride, doing very well. So I'm stoked for him. Love adding to the jockey colony since Bravo left. So hopefully he can step up again this year and get some really good mounts. Breaking from post five on the field of nine. Should do him well. There's going to be a couple horses that take money. So I'm hoping that we get somewhere around like seven to two, nine to two, four to one, somewhere in between that. If we get anything above that, I'm dump the fucking house on it. Uh, this horse is going to be singled on quite a few fours, fives, sixes, threes, doubles, both ways. So um, that's going to be huge for me. But what really got me, bottom side of this horse, Kitten's Point. Awesome race mare. Uh, was a great runner herself. Grade three winner, uh, twice over. Uh, earner of 507000 and some change. Um, came third in the... Oh, no. At two, I remember. Came second in the Jessamine. Um, i trying to remember who she ran against. But then in the Breeders' Cup turf, I think she came 12th. Um, but then at three, comes back to Keeneland. Mind you, this is when it was still Polly in like 2013, I think it was. I remember her running line. Do that. Yeah, 2013. Um, she ran third in the Ashland. That's a grade one still back then. So, um, really hope that this horse just keeps progressing. Want to see it turn out as a three-year-old. Uh, I could see her being really tough uh, this summer. So love me, Jonathan, anytime they come west, especially Augusta Stables. He's definitely top five trainer for me. I love how he does everything. He does it right. Uh, love the workout she had uh, or he had on the 16th. This is the only work that he's published uh, since that race on the 1st. Uh, going five furlongs, did it 102 and two, or no, and four um, at Turfway. So hopefully it doesn't take too much money. Hopefully the favorite. Uh, there's a couple horses I think will take money over this horse, but we'll see because they're graded winners, stakes winners. So hopefully we escape under the lights of everybody and get us a nice chunky long shot. Again, thank you to everybody this last year that has been supporting me. Love this. This is what I love doing. Uh, shout out to everybody that's following along on all the plays. We're killing it so far. We're on a heater right now, so let's keep going. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Boxing Day. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year's. Let's keep Kicking some ash and cashing, cashing, damn, I can't even talk. Cashing some damn tickets. And guess what? We out this motherfucking bitch. Peace.